The Youth Justice Board is a group of teenagers from New York City. We are determined to improve the relationship between youth and police officers at a time when there is a lot of tension. We wanted to help open the communication between youth and police officers by highlighting some of the life experiences teens are going through that can affect how they interact with police officers. This video is a compilation of our suggestions. We'd like to give you a chance to get to know more about us. So next time you come into contact with our peers, you'll have a better sense of what we're going through. It's often a lot more than you see on the surface. What I feel that police officers can do so that they can have a better experience with teens is one, um, try to have a conversation with them um, during my experience. They explain um, the different alternatives that I could have um, taken besides the one that I did which caused me trouble and so I feel like when they try to even relate to you or ask you um, more about yourself like um, any type of goals or aspirations that's just them trying to um, approach you on a more personal level and I feel like when they actually try to make that um, that connection with you that the overall outcome will always be positive. I would like officers to actually like try to understand the situation that I'm in and not just judge me and try to find me or arrest me or ask me like a bunch of questions. I would like officers to not speak to me with their hands on their gun because like that is really intimidating to me. I feel like if they come up more positive, you know, they will get more information because you know, most of the time that's what they want. For most young people, they all want the same thing, to just be treated with respect, to be heard, and not just talked to. My brain won't fully develop until I'm 24 years old. That's why my peers and I have trouble planning ahead and controlling our impulses. Researchers have found that teenagers and young people do things differently than adults because our brains are still developing. We are more likely to be impulsive and not think about the consequences before we do things. Sometimes we cannot always make the best choice between good and bad behaviors. As teens and young people, our emotional reaction to any situation will always be higher than an adult's. Teens are more open to making mistakes and experimenting to find out what we like than adults are. I don't think police officers understand what we're going through as youth. I understand that sometimes their day might be going bad and everything like that, but sometimes we need to get, think about what's going on in our day as lo along with what's going on in their day. While young men experience more violent crimes like robbery than young women, women are more often victims of sexual assault than males. Did you know that 61% of LGBT youth say they sometimes feel unsafe or uncomfortable because of their sexual orientation? Their fears are real. Each year, 8 out of 10 LGBT students are harassed at school. Somewhere we wish it all feel safe. Fewer than half of the young people who reported being victimized share their experience with adults in their schools, with medical authorities, or with police. That's one reason it's so important for us to build relationships with adults, so we feel comfortable asking for help when we need it. What I would want a police officer to know about teens is that we're just like everyone else. We go to school, we most likely go to work or some type of after school program, and we're really in this transitional phase where we're plagued with teen angst and we're just trying to find our place in society. So when we're put in very uncomfortable situations, oftentimes we don't know how to react because we've never been told how to. We're still learning how to survive in this world. I would like an officer to know that I'm actually a hardworking young male and I am not a delinquent and I'm not looking to cause trouble or commit any crimes. To help me feel safe in my neighborhood, an officer could um, show that they're there prote to protect us, to meet and greet with the people you know so like they could have a closer relationship in which that if something does happen they know like people could help them and it helps their job and it can help us too. 
We know one size does not fit all, so you can't use the same approach in every situation, but we believe that most of the interactions between youth and police officers can improve. For instance, more willingness on the part of youth to listen to officers' orders, and less pushback from youth since they do not feel as threatened or afraid. Greater youth cooperation in helping the police complete tasks. Also, police can learn more from us about our neighborhoods. In addition, several long-term benefits also come into play, like improving communities' trust in police. Getting to know people in the community. An increased confidence in law enforcement, and thus a greater chance that the police will actually be called in times of need. And ultimately, young people will feel comfortable interacting with police officers. Youth are then more likely to reply to police calmly, rather than clam up or act offensively. This can decrease tension and potentially fearful situations. These are only a few of the benefits that can come from having positive interactions with young people. We know it's not an easy job, but we want to make it a little easier for you. So when you come in contact with us, we hope you will take into account our background, how we are developing mentally, and our feelings.